was a fair race, it was a fair race. Now, uh, things began to unwind, I guess, and the next battle exchange between you and, and Godwin. Uh, how long have you guys been practicing the battle exchange? Yeah, actually, we've not really practiced for long, but I've given it to him once, I gave it to him in Sapele, and it was quite good, but yeah, we couldn't achieve that as neat as it was in Sapele, but we are good. Godwin, I'm going to come to you now. Um, you know, in a big championship like this, under pressure, battle exchange is just a different ball game. Was it different for, for you from when you did this in training? Yes, it was quite different because I... The tension was high and all I'll say like we put on our best to do it because me and Bella never practiced well like perfectly that much. If I must go back where we started our training like three days back and me and him never did any exchange up till now we came here and the coaches never did anything about it. All we get from them was beefing and we're all training all ourselves. We're training ourselves for this really. We're training ourselves for this relay. The coaches didn't really put any effort. The last time we kind of like had conflict with one of the coaches, all he said was he's not being paid for what he's doing. So it's as if maybe we are the one who is kind of like suffering from everything that is going on because we are the one who is running. And at the end of the day, if we don't come out with the good stuff and the team will still bounce back at us. So we tried our best. We tried our best. Well, this was the only race at this World Junior, so what is next for you? How can we do better in Nigeria? I mean, what's, what's, what can we do better? For getting a good result from us, I believe we are strong. We are once great. So I don't know what's going on now because we kind of like, nobody cares about us. Nobody cares about us right from Nigeria down here. Even coming from Nigeria to Dubai, we didn't eat for three days. We didn't eat. Then we get to Dubai, folk finally got something to eat. We spend the night missing an event. Mm -hmm. So, that's how just today, about 12 hours ago, I was floating on air i was if i had seen if i had been with my green passport yesterday i would have slapped people with it and just said don't you know i'm nigerian the best african nation on earth waka got me all buzzed up all hyped up i said yes this is our people this is what we do best nobody can beat us when it comes to talent and creativity and and being nigerian and and all of that and then sports so there was a lot of brouhaha where um the the i don't know the delegates for rio the olympics in rio said they actually received a mail that had said to them that they were supposed to pay their own way to get to rio de janeiro and everyone got their knickers in a twist over that only for them to then say oh no actually the, 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 the Minister for Sports um, re released a statement uh, through his publicist, I guess, a media publicist or what have you, saying, no, 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 that mail did not come from, from the ministry at all. They, they know what their role is supposed to be when it comes to these sportsmen and women, and they will be responsible for logistics, and they will, they will get everyone to Rio, and the, the, the burden to do this lies with some lady who's, who's in charge of it. All well and good. Thank you very much. We've heard. And then out of the blue, here comes a, a video from, from Poland. So the IAAF under 20s is going on at the moment in Poland. I would tell you what city it was going on in, except that I can't pronounce it. It's got 11 letters with just one vowel. I cannot come and die. Sha, Poland. There's something going on in Poland. Sports. Um, you'll have to forgive me. Sports is not my strong suite, I have to tell you. But there are four guys who took part in a relay who lost and they were so, as you've just seen um, just now, they're so bitter about it, so angry that they had to let their, their emotions out and to say exactly the sort of treatment that they've received during the training and the build up to, to, to this particular occasion. So they've basically been thrown to the walls. 
No one cares about them. No one comes to help them. There is no assistance whatsoever. The country makes them feel like they've done them a favor by even letting them travel out. What made me so riled up about this, this um, protest by these young men was that it was so articulate, so articulate that it could only be the truth. They were talking from the heart. They were talking about the treatment they'd had. They had not eaten in three days and nobody cares. They talked to their coaches. Coaches are like, nothing to do with me. I'm not even getting paid for this. So I Google, I search for the Minister for Sports because I'm thinking, maybe we don't have one. Maybe we don't have a Minister for Sports the same way as most houses don't have running water and they have to dig their own boreholes. Maybe these young men just went to so green vest and started going up and down to Poland up and down because I don't really understand how it's possible that we would have a ministry for sports and it is possible that these young men uh, and women that would have been out there will have to do all of this by themselves. I Google it. It's some guy called Dalong, Solomon Dalong, who from what I can see has no, no, no sport background whatsoever certainly does not seem to have ever seen the inside of a gym or a track uh he, he, if he has any kind of training at all it seems to be in law so i'm thinking ah, so why is this one now minister for sports because he doesn't know what's going on he clearly does not understand what is needed he doesn't understand what these young men and women have to do these men are talking about receiving the baton with their left hand or, or receiving it from their right hand and things they've not trained for things they've not they're not even um meant to be doing or if they've had any training they've only trained for you know on two different occasions or three different occasions you can see someone there saying oh we did it and it went well in sapele so we're not sure we thought we would try it again sapele sapele and poland they resemble each other it's only p they have in common okay p and l that's about it why 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 are these young men and women led to come and embarrass themselves out in front of people who would have been training for months for for years with countries that have strategies in place for sports that have funding in place that have and i know what what dalong and his people are going to say there's no money the money isn't filtering down uh they they, they allocated the funds but it's just that the funds didn't get to the right place it's stuck somewhere something 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 all i know is it's probably in somebody's swiss account somewhere Dalong cannot see heaven. Can Dalong see heaven? None of these people can see heaven because these young men and women are doing things out of the passion of their hearts. They are doing the things that are the things that make a country great. They're doing the names that you remember. We, we've all heard of Flojo. We've all heard of Pele. We've all heard of Maradona. We've all heard of uh, Serena Williams. We've all heard of um, Andy Murray. It's, these are the things. These are the things that give you national pride. These are the things that make you want to stand tall to say, yes, I'm from this country. Or I'm from this country. These are the things that make young men and women paint their faces, you know, the color of their nation's flag, because they think, you know, sports unifies. Sports holds us together. Sports is something that every country of every race can 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 stop for a minute and be proud of. No matter the problems going on in Kenya, whenever there's a long distance race, whenever there's a marathon or something where it's like a million miles, Kenyans drop everything. Even Kenyans that are not trained, you know, marathon runners come out of the blue and say, hey, I can't, if it's, that's trekking or that's running, I know how to do it. And they come out and they do it for their country. My people want to do it for their country. My people want to do the sports. My people want to wear the vest and they want to wear it proudly, but they don't have any funding or any kind of support to do it. So, I mean, I don't understand what Dalong and his folks are doing. I have a problem with, I, I just have a problem with all of it. So as I was watching this video, I was thinking, oh, maybe someone a, a philanthropist somebody somewhere can you know fund these people and put someone and then i thought actually no why should a philanthropist do it why do we have to do everything ourselves in order for things to work if you don't have water you have to drill your own borehole if you don't have good roads you have to beg the local council if they'll let you tire it if you don't have light you have to just go and get your own generator why do we have to do everything ourselves there is money set aside for sports there is funding set aside for the youth and for sport, especially if the same minister is responsible for youth 
and sports and this is the under 20 sports then i think this very much falls within his power view so before anyone comes into the comment section talking about oh yeah but buhari spent this and buhari spent that buhari is not minister for sports so that's not what we're talking about here dalong needs to sort it out somebody needs to sit on top of dalong and say listen why are boys and girls being let in um, international and global disgrace because you can't pull your finger out because i can assure you he's got one or two cars somewhere sitting somewhere he's got one or two trust fund for his children he's got one or two things going on that's supposed to be the money that should feed and transport these young men and women and it's just disgusting it's just disgusting so today is ending on a really sour note for me because what started off as a fantastic day where i was still buzzing from the performance of last night um which showed me the fantastic part about being nigerian um, has ended in a very, very sour, sour note, which showed me the horrible part about being Nigerian, the corruption, the endemic apathy towards our fellow man, towards a greater good, towards doing something that we can actually be proud of. So, yeah, it sucks. I'm not happy. I'm out. Good night. Coming here, passing through stress and one thing or the other, trying to put ourselves together. Like, what really happened in an AKMS race? So many people are kind of like saying rubbish about her, which is not, not everybody can run with stress. Not everybody can run with stress. We really passed through stress here and nobody, we have never ever got a phone call for anybody so far. It's, it's absurd. Yeah. Well, it was your birthday during this championship. I think just yesterday, were you able to celebrate somehow? Actually, I would say I really did not celebrate it because uh, we're here for something. We're here for something and I believe we've got what I know the limits we are prepared because we never prepared for this competition. We never did. We just came here unknown and so, so I believe we tried our best. We gave our best shot. So right. I'm going to come to you now, Emmanuel. You ran two 200 meter races already in this championship and you were the ankle leg. Um, what happened in the uh, the last baton exchange? It seemed like you had to slow down all the way to get the uh, What happened out there? That is that is all. When you believe everything you say is right, you don't watch our race. You never see me run third leg. Never see me run last leg. Come to this four by one. I told them that I don't like last leg because I don't have to see my left leg. But we practice this morning. We need to be perfect. But you can't compare. Training of yesterday and today, and I expect to come out here and perform excellently. It's not done. When I, whenever I run my third leg, I run with Biola. So even without giving him a check mark, he knows how to be beaten. So this time I just, we are just trying to satisfy some people. This is not our formation. To hear that conversation, guys. So final question. I mean, most of you now are going to be moving up to the seniors after this uh, championship. So what's your game plan? I know that. The man, for example, you already uh, bronze medalist at the national trials. Sure, you also ran the 100 meter final at the national trials. Do you guys think you can now step up to the seniors and represent Nigeria at the senior level? Maybe world championships next year in London. Uh, actually, in, in terms of the seniors, that's not really a problem. But as the thing is right now, there's no encouragement from anybody. We are really, really tried on our own. On our own to push ourselves up to these limits we are and there's no 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 kind of like no 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 assistance from anybody not in for the federation like last one we heard from someone was telling us that they are favor uh, they gave us a favor to travel down here they give us a favor to travel down here like we, are here to play. we are just here to play they gave us a favor just for us to come here and just run and that is a favor they have given to us to travel out so you, you kind of like you hear that you can even just give up in athletics. You can just give up and go and go and get something else to do. Something else to do. And we are not being kept for since we have been here. I've been in camp since last year September. Up to this moment, I've not been given anyone there. And up to now, I've not been paid anything. And there's no hope of paying anything. There's no hope of really getting anything. One more talk, they will say we don't need money. That we are juniors. That we don't need the money. Meanwhile, we have people, you know, most of us here, we are the ones cutting for ourselves. We are the ones seeing ourselves through school. So how are we going to do this? This is what we do. 
this is what we do and i believe since we do this we give our, our all our effort all our time i believe when it comes to in terms of financially we need to we, we don't have we don't really have to have problem with that we don't really have to have any problem with that so i believe to me i don't care what everybody can say that's the best motivation i believe we can get right now that's the best motivation yeah Okay.